Welcome to Lesson 89 of Saxon Math Course 2. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at diagonals, interior angles, and exterior angles. This is uh, going to appear a little harder than it is, but it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. So we're going to draw diagonals of a polygon. We're going to find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of that polygon. We're going to do it for uh, regular polygons, and we're going to also find the measures of exterior angles for polygons and regular polygons. Okay, so first thing you need to recall is that a diagonal is uh, the diagonal of a polygon is a line segment that passes through the polygon between two non-adjacent vertices. So in this figure you see here, the AC segment is a diagonal. And what it does is it takes the polygon and divides it into two triangles, two separate triangles, each totaling 180 degrees, correct? We all know that, right? Triangles total 180 degrees. All right, so from one vertex of this regular hexagon on the right here, how many diagonals, how many slices can be drawn through it? So just pick one of those. Okay, I'm going to pick F here, right? And I'm going to just start drawing. There's one. Oop, I'm sorry. Let me fix that. There's one. There's two. There's three. So three diagonals can be drawn through that hexagon which creates one two three four triangles okay and and it's important that you'd be able to to do that so we can it'll help us in calculating our measures and you'll see in the in the as this lesson goes on so you get three triangles which give us three diagonals which gives us four triangles and that's very important to, to know Okay, so when we take what we drew, in this case here they used A, and they got their four, their four triangles in there. Now you've got interior angles right here. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. And those are called interior angles. And we're going to learn how to find the measure of each one of those and what they total. And we're going to do that by using the knowledge we have of triangles being 180 degrees each. Okay, so the way we do that is that we can know that the, the, the total measures of the interior angles of that hexagon is 720 degrees. And the reason we know that is because we've got four triangles and they all total 180. And when you times those together, that means that this entire, the sum of all of these added together is 720. Okay, so... Mara inscribes the regular hexagon in a circle. Find the measure of each angle of this regular hexagon. All right, so what are you going to do first? That's right, you've got to pick an angle. I don't care which one. I'm just going to use A, and then you're going to draw in your diagonals. There's one, two, three diagonals. And the three diagonals is going to give us how many triangles? It gives us one two, three, four triangles. So we take four times 180, and that's going to equal 720 degrees. But it doesn't want to know the sum. It's asked for each angle. Well, how many angles are there total? Well, there's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you take your 720 total and divide it by six. And what you come up with is 120. 120 degrees. Each one of these is 120 degrees. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. So let's 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 just try breaking these up a little bit. Let's just do a little practice. See if you can do this. See if you can take this. I'll do one for you. I'll do the square because I you know I'll take the easy one. Leave you the hard ones. Okay. So I'll take the square and. And first thing I'm going to do, how many sides does it have? Well, it's got four sides. All right, I can do that. What's the number of triangles that it can form? Well, it can only form two. And what are the sum of those triangles? Well, I have two. Two times 180 is 360. So 360 degrees is the sum of those angles. And then the measure of each interior angle is going to be 360. And I've got one, two, three, four divided by four. So that my answer is going to be 90, 90 degrees. 
Get the idea? See if you can do all of these. Pause the video, see if you can do it, and then I'll go through and, and fill them in real quick. Okay, let's do it. Let's just do the easy part. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll say our pattern is N. And then our number of triangles that get formed is one, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully you guys uh, were able to figure that out. And then this becomes N minus two, right? Because it's our, it's our number of sides minus two. And then some of our angles, this is going to be 180. And these here, likewise, are going to increase by 180. So 540, 720, 900, 1080. So this is going to be 180 times the N minus 2, right? And then the measure of each angle is goes up by not a smooth amount because it's a little more complicated than that because now we're dividing on 28 and 4 sevenths and this is 135 and then this our last thing here would be the 180 n minus 2 all divided by our number of sides, which is n. So all of our interior angles, interior angles for a triangle, so each one of these you know is what? 60, yeah, it's 60. And you know that each one of these on a triangle is 90, or a rectangle is 90, you know that. And that's, that's how you do to figure out these harder ones like these, okay? All right, great, let's go on. There you go, there's the answer, it looks like I did it right. I like it when I do it right. All right, so draw a quadrilateral and one of its diagonals, and then tell me what the what the sum is. Go ahead, do it. All right, I'm just gonna draw one like, meh, 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 kind of like that. It's quadrilateral in it, and then I'll go ahead and draw my diagonal right through there, and I know that that divides it into two triangles. I know each one's 180 made up 180 degrees, so I know that the sum of my measures of my interior angles, I know that all of these total together is going to equal 360 degrees because it's these two added together. Hopefully that's what you got. So will the sum measure of interior angles of all quadra quadra quadrilaterals be 360 degrees? Yes or no? And why? Yes, they will. The measure of the interior angles of all quadrilaterals are going to equal 360 because there's only you can only get one diagonal out of them. You're going to always be divided into two, so it's always going to equal 360. Okay, so now let's look at our exterior angles. Uh, we can calculate the measure of each exterior angle of a regular hexagon by remembering how many turns it require to rotate 360 degrees, or just the amount of one, two, three, four, five, six, or my, and you know, or just number of sides would be six. Same thing. Um, but we know that the whole thing equals 360 degrees. And we're going to use that information along with the number of turns or number of sides to calculate the exterior angles, the outside ones, not the inside ones. Okay, so what's the measure of each of the exterior angles of a regular hexagon? So we've got one over here, right? And we know that if we take that the whole thing equals 360, and if we've got six turns, and we divide by 60, each one of these out here is going to equal 60 degrees. Each one of those x here is going to equal 60 degrees. So if you know that, now how can you figure out what the inside is? Okay, so if I've got, let me just draw one here. If i got a turn right here, and this is 60 degrees right here, how can you tell what this is right here? That should be automatic. You should know that just like that. Because you know this line right here, what does that equal? That equals 180 degrees. So what's this interior going to equal? That's right. You're right. It's going to equal 120. All right. Nice job. Okay. That's it. There's your video. There's your diagonals. There's your interior, exteriors, angles. Do your TIDs. Bring your questions to class. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching the video.